Irvin Midget. Appreciate it. My name's Irvin Midget. I'm a resident of Dare County. And I was raised as a commercial fisherman, not a sport fisherman. And uh, I haven't heard anybody say a lot about that today, but this started back in the early 70s. I was still a kid, and uh, I remember when they took the beach away from us in Rodanthe, from Rodanthe to Oregon Inlet. And it's been going on forever and ever and ever. Then when they started talking about the birds shutting the beaches and all down, down here, uh, first I was laughing about it. I said, this has been going on forever. I said, now the sport fish, we're going to get it back to them, what we got taken from us. Then it went from Road Anthony to Cape Point and all that. I ain't going to go into detail and all that. But what's really getting me today is, is when I hear people come down here to the Outer Banks and say, you know, I don't even want to come here anymore. It's changing. It's changing. Everything about this place is changing. The peacefulness, the beauty, all that. Every, everything they said about them uh, gas and the geese and uh, like draining the pond up there this winter for two months up there, killing all the crabs. People coming back to my... I have a campground and I'm a commercial trip fisherman by trade. I told you I was a fisherman, but uh, people are coming back to my campground now. And uh, they went up there crabbing this week for they, where they had the day thing. They come back with two crabs. Two crabs they come back with. And what do you think about the thousands of crabs and fish and stuff they killed up there when they drained the pond down that I've never seen dry in my entire life being down here. Drained it down for two months to, to, to Planted duck weed in there for the ducks to come here in the winter and plenty of ducks to come here. But uh, what's really getting me really bad today is uh, I had people leave my campground a few weeks ago. Thank you, Juan, for uh, returning my call. They come to the campground, been over to the beach. Park Service went over there. The Park Service said they were sorry. But went over and shut the beach down, run them off the beach, and come back to me. And they were leaving, going back to Indiana. Three different groups of people. One man in my campground that's got a yearly site right now, been overseas for three years with the Taliban thing, I don't know what all he's doing over here privately, comes to the beach, first time he's been here in the last three years because he's over there fighting for us, comes here, gets run off the beach because of a damn bird. I mean, there's this man fighting for us and comes down here, thank you, he was so excited, him and his wife, just got down here, I can't, I don't know what date it was, whenever I called you the same day. Weeks ago and gets run off the beach because, because of a bird. And, and now it was the, the clovers on, the, on the, the beaches down by the water. You know what? I've never seen a nest down by the water. And I've been on them beaches since I was a little kid. Commercial fish since I was a little kid over there. The birds nest up in the dunes. And I've never seen a bird killed on the beach unless we killed one in the winter deep. You know, uh, <laughs> it's not really funny. This isn't, it, it isn't a funny issue anymore. But people don't even want to come here. I had a, I had a couple come in my campground day before yesterday that I've known since I was a little boy. They used to have a trailer down in Salvo. And they said, you know, Urban, if it weren't for, if it weren't for our granddaughters coming down here, we wouldn't even come down here anymore other than to see you people that we love. You know, I don't, I don't even want to live here no more with the way things are going. It's horrible what is happening to us. The culture of our place is changing. The history of our place is changing. They either bulldoze every damn thing down in our trees and to get back to the park service again. What about burning on the east side of the highway up there by the beach from, from Morgan Hill at the road Anthony? We have, we have erosion all the time, and every spring they come and burn the bushes down, which is our trees, which protects the land, and anybody that lives on this island knows that. That's why 